In the lower right hand of the screen, there is the alarm tab. From the alarm tab, hit the clock button in the upper right hand of the screen. From there, you can select a date and time range of faults for which to display. You can set this range as fine or as wide as you wish. If you want to see a long period of time, 30 days, select 30 days and it will bring up every alarm or shutdown that has happened in the last 30 days. This may be a large amount of faults, so you may want to fine tune that down to one day or so. Here we will be looking at five days. To access eHelp, Select the fault that you want to investigate, and then select the Adobe PDF icon in the upper right hand of the screen. From there, you will select the engine you are using, either a 6-cylinder or 12-cylinder. This will bring up eHelp in ESM2. It will show you where to look for sensor failures and where those connections are on your engine. It will show you the connections in the ECU, on the rail, and on the components, as well as the connection to the HMI. From there, there will be a series of troubleshooting tips depending on the fault and specific to the fault that has been triggered. Follow the steps within eHelp to determine the right course of action to correct the fault or shutdown. To select another fault, simply choose that fault and select the Adobe icon again. Select the appropriate engine and follow the troubleshooting tree that is there. Applicable drawings will be brought up with eHelp with pinout connections to help you determine the fault or failure, as well as recommended troubleshooting tips for that particular failure code. Remember you can always set the time and date range wider or narrower to better help your search with a specific fault or failure.